Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about the model charts, how we can use it, how we can apply it with our families and how we can get for example some families from this file to the Dynamo and making these infographics. So let's get started. But my suggestion before you will see this video, please watch the previous video about what is that the model chart and where you can get it. Thank you. So first thing first, let's open up the new project. Oh, you can open the basic project, sample project, or you can find the other projects in Revit inside. You just should go to the file, here go to the open, just scroll down, here you will find the sample files, and here you will find a lot of different sample files in Revit. So, which one you want to use, it's only up to you. I will use this advanced sample family project. Uh, let's use that. This just office building, nothing special. I just interesting about the um, advanced uh, level de level detail, and that's it. As you can see here, is the standard project, nothing special. So, and we will go to the uh, 3D just to see what's going on here around. As you can see, here is a lot of the rooms. This is what I need. And let's go to the uh, manage and here we will find Dynamo. Let's open up Dynamo and now we will work only there. So here is our Dynamo. Let's, I will do the screen bigger because most of you cannot see what's going on on my screen. And I will go to the new, new tab. Okay, so and now before we will start, uh, we should uh, make like a small summary what we want to do. Actually, the first thing I want to make pie charts with all my room families. So let's start. We want to work with the category of for the room. We should use the category of the room. Just right click right here the category. Let's find the category categories uh, select better find here okay here is categories so this is what I want uh, and let's check uh, take the also the all elements of the category because once we will find the category we should take these all categories these elements from the, this category. Let's open up and let's find here the room. Uh, here a lot of the different categories. We are interesting only room right now. So where's the rooms? Uh, rooms, 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 roofs. Uh -huh. Only room, rooms. As you can see, without text, color fail, only rooms. We are interesting. Let's choose it and let's check it out. What's going on here? As you can see, uh -huh. category is room. Let's connect this one to the all element by this category. We will find now a lot of the rooms, 91 uh, rooms. Okay, so but now we don't do not don't know what is what is the type of the room. Just we get only the name of the category. I mean the uh, element room. So we need um, making like more understandable that. So, and first thing we need room name, room name. So here is the name. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Room name. And as you can see, we should connect here the rooms and we will get the string name of these rooms. So as simple as that. Let's connect our element to the room. Let's open up that and we will get all the rooms as you can see, West, Lobby, Cafeteria, and many, many other one. If the name the same, um, the rooms not will um, combine it. Rooms will, uh, I mean, this not will uh, just parsing it, as you can see, like instruction, 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 and blah, blah, stair, 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 and on and on. This bad way, but I will leave as it is right now. So we need also understand the area so let's check it room area as you can see okay nice and let's connect our elements to the room area and now we get area from this room as you can see here the list 
check it out. List zero, 48, 40 meters, uh, square meters. This is equal to the zero here. So 40 square meters uh, from list zero, it's equal to list zero west. So west, it's uh, 40 square meter. And just going, for example, nine, nine square, square meters, uh, this is storage. Okay, so I think you understand how it's working. Uh, pretty awesome. Now let's connect all these things to the pie chart. Right click and pie chart. Mm -hmm, it's here. And as you understand, the names we should connect to the labels, our area we should connect to the value. But the first thing what we get the problem here we have 91 different uh, different rooms uh, and some of the rooms this is same we should combine it and now we will combine it to get the statistic uh, of that in dynamo this is not calling the unique list unique let's find the unique and we will find unique items as you can see okay so let's connect our string to the list list to the label let's check it out here the 91 uh, positions here 27 so maybe we can make a deal with that because now you can see we have only one lobby we have only one west and blah 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 so this is much better and we can work with 27 uh 27 numbers and now we should connect only the colors and after that our pie chart will be work we have the one problem as you can see here we have 27 position it's still too much it's not 91 of course but 27 no it's too much because we will get a lot of the labels here so we have a few ways uh, like longest way we can check only what we want for example we want to Mm, uh, check the public spaces or we wanna check only office spaces or maybe only first level and other things and shortest way we will get only some few positions and we will transfer it here and of course from the, that side we will check only a few positions let's use the second way because this first uh, level uh, first way i mean the longest way i should explain much better and you should understand how it's working how it's working the list so the second way just double click on the left uh, button on the mouse and what we're gonna do we get the code block let's uh, write here the list zero this is what i want and we get the new code block as you can see we should get here the list and we will get only zero what does mean zero you will understand right now right click and we need chop let's chop it as you can see here is chop okay what chop doing uh as you can see right now here it's a 91 position and it's only one list now when we will connect our union one list to the chop we now can say we want to chop it by 10 or let's make by five positions so each five position this chop node we will uh like like chopping uh cropping our list as you can see list zero one two three four five chop one two three four five chop and it's going till the end till it finish okay i think this is you now will understand because now we get a lot of the lists actually now we get uh 18 lists here one here 18 because we chop by five why we did that now we can get only this chop all this list now have the index as you can see list index zero list index one and we wrote this code block as you can see here we want list and inside these brackets we just asking only one index as you can see we need index zero as you can see here zero this is first so if i will connect you will see now we get only these positions 
only these positions as simple as that so what we're gonna do next next I will just copy these code blocks and I will do the same thing here let's connect let's say we can connect our unique position but it's not necessary now and we will connect our room name but we will leave the unique position to the later on connect it again chopping it as you can see the best lobby cafeteria blah 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 and we get five positions of name nice now let's connect our code block with the numbers to the value and our code block with the names to the labels fine now we need only the color let's use the palette for that one here is the color palette and let's make five copies two three four five you can of course use the randomized color if you want if you know how to do that if you don't just use one by one and let's make different colors like one color the second color third color let's make different colors because it's better to understand what's going on okay and now we need combine it again we need list we need combine it via like a one list and we need four five uh, items uh, don't forget when I saying five I'm saying five but for the uh, PC it means four because uh, the PC starting calculate from the zero don't forget about it let's connect to the zero to the one to the two three and four okay and now we can see here inside we get five lists I mean the one list with five positions and now we can connect this to the color that it's working uh, here you can see by colors what is that uh, as you can see lobby is the bigger position here the cafeteria it's much smaller but as you can see we get a really huge number so how we can change it I mean making more understandable we need make round we have a lot of ways how we can make a round for me it's much easiest uh, just again double click on the code block and say math dot round okay just connect our code block with the uh, oh I forgot the one thing we need what one of what we want around it just brackets and X here so X means uh, we will connect some parameter we have here the parameters we will connect it here after that uh, the this code block will work with the round and after that we will get the num normal numbers as you can see here is the really huge numbers we will connect it right now to the code block and let's see what's going on as you can see it's rounded by one it's much pretty much pretty right than that one and let's connect this one to the value and as you can see now it's much understandable what's going on here so by this way you can calculate everything we're just starting to visualize uh, what we can calculate and what we can do if you want to for example this use I mean the, this part uh, pie chart use somewhere else or you want put it inside to the Revit just right click and you will find here the export chart as MH so you can export it for example to your schedule and use it there so for today it's finished if you like this tutorial and you want to know more about the lists, how you can calculate something, I will do that. Just leave the comment, uh, the thumbs up and share this video. Thank you guys and see you next time.